When you think of the Legend of Zelda series, certainly one of the top things that would come to most people's mind are the dungeons. I myself happen to be a really big fan in particular of the 3D Zelda dungeons. Now I've done tier lists for Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword. Well it's time to put it into an ultimate ranking and rank all 3D Zelda dungeons, including some of the games I have yet to cover. So let's get into it. Hey what's going on guys, it's Ryan here from Game Essays here with another tier list. As I said in the intro, we are doing all 3D Zelda dungeons for ranking them. So as I said, I have ranked Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker. Uh, the only games basically on the 3D side that I have yet to cover are Breath of the Wild and Majora's Mask. And the reason I didn't do that was because the dungeon count was so few for both of those games that it felt... It felt like it would have been a little too brief to, to cover those. Wind Waker was kind of like the limit for me on that, I guess. But they're going to be covered here. And one thing I want to point out just before we get into it is if you watched one of my previous tier lists and then you see things might shift from where, you know, if I said something was an A tier in the last video and it might be a B tier here, um, that's all subject to change because once I start putting all the dungeons together, I feel like sometimes my opinion just might change because once you're up against some of these other dungeons from any game, from a different game, I might feel a little bit differently about it. Um, but let, without wasting any more time, let's let's get into it. Uh, first up, we have the Deku Tree, and I still believe I had I think I had this as an A last, and I'm going to keep it as an A because um, even though it's not the most remarkable of dungeons, I think it's still probably my favorite first dungeon of any game because it it doesn't go on too long it has a, like an interesting concept to it you're jumping through the the middle of you know you go all the way to the top and jump through i still feel like that's like a very unique aspect to that dungeon that you really don't see things like that in too many other places particularly for an intro dungeon so i still think it is like one of the best first dungeons in any zelda game period Dodongo's Cavern, I'm not as crazy about. This is usually one that I just kind of find more on the boring side. Um, I might even I might even put it at a D. I don't know. It's not too offensive, but I don't know. We, we're up against a lot of competition here, so I might actually throw it down in the D tier. Um, it's not bad, but it's usually one that uh, I'm not looking forward to as much. We got Jabu Jabu's Belly here. This is another one I'm not as crazy about, but I'd probably throw this up in the C tier um, just because it, it's not bad and it, it has some interesting elements to it. It's a little annoying that you have to carry around Princess Ruto, but I, I still think it's more interesting to me than Dodongo's Cavern. Forest Temple, maybe I'll jump around. Should I jump around a little bit just because you guys have seen my, my Ocarina of Time um, you know, tier list. Uh, if if you have it, I mean, you can you can go and watch it. I'll get a little more specific, but I might just jump around a little bit just to make things a little bit more interesting. Like, um, yeah, you may see me scrolling up and down here because this list does go quite long. Um, let's throw a divine beast in here just for the hell of it. So, divine beast is a little bit tough, right? Because they're so different than normal Zelda dungeons that. It's it's like what do you, what do you do? How do you rank them versus other dungeons? And at the end of the day, what I'm gonna say is that I don't think the best of the best divine beast can stack up against some of these other dungeons. But I will say, like if we go to um, the bird divine beast, I forget it's like Va Meadow. I would actually put this as a B um, because. Even though, you know, all the Divine Beasts are so different and they're super short, this one is so much fun. Um, especially if you've watched some of, like, the speed runs, if you watch, like, all dungeon speed runs, and you see I, some of these things, I, I'm sure I haven't watched some of the latest speed runs in a while, but even the early speed runs for this game, it was really fun, some of the things you could do that's very easy for anyone else to pick up and do to kind of like get shrines super, uh, get the like terminals super easy. But yeah, even though it's really short if you know what to do, I find this one super fun. Um, 
the forest temple will kind of jump back on track. I think we'll do a couple like in a row and then maybe I'll skip around to something uh, random. Forest temple for me is still an S tier. I think it's the most atmospheric and still really interesting dungeon. It's my favorite dungeon in Ocarina of Time. I think atmosphere is a big factor for me, but if there's also other really cool elements, then that plays a huge role for me. Uh, and Forest Temple just takes the cake. The music, the you know, this overgrown, this van, uh, mansion with all these vines and overgrowth to it, and the ghosts. It was just super, super cool. Um, I, bl you know, Fire Temple. I think is still gonna stay at. Um, I Fire Temple. I think is is a B. It's nice and smooth. But I, I don't think it's like particularly super interesting to me. So I, I think I think it sits right at a B. All right, let's jump around again to do one we have not covered. Um, let's see. Uh, where is it? I'm trying to find it. Where is it? Uh, okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. It's right. It's not even that far. So we have Woodfall Temple. Sorry if I'm scrolling up and down like crazy here. Woodfall Temple. Um, I would probably say Woodfall Temple is like a C. It is a dungeon that I don't mind at all. It's it's not one I particularly like love, but it, it's fine. You know, I, I don't think it's that bad. Majora's Mask, is, it's a little bit weird with me. I love Majora's Mask, but the dungeons is something where I'm I'm kind of like a little less, uh, I'm a little less, I don't know. I love Majora's Mask, but I don't love the dungeons as much as, you know, people might think, um, at least some of them. Water Temple. Back to Ocarina of Time Dungeons here. It's kind of going in order of, of release. So, um, Water Temple for me is still an A. This, you know, there's some weird, obviously, small key placements that trip people up. I've done the dungeon enough times that I kind of know where it is and it's no problem. And it's one of the more interesting dungeons and more fun to play through once you really kind of know what to do. So, I will say Water Temple, I think it's. Well, it's definitely the hardest dungeon in Ocarina of Time by far. But it's also one of the more fun ones. It's one of the more fun when it comes to replayability. And also, I mean, come on. When you think of the, the music, the atmosphere of it, I'm not really talking about bosses, but the mini boss for Water Temple is, is, is awesome. So that definitely plays uh, a huge factor. Okay, we've got Shadow Temple... I think I put Shadow Temple at a B. Uh, I like it. I don't... Um, once you know... Again, this is another one. Once you know what to do, it's like super, super short. Um, but it's re it's got some really cool moments with like the boat and everything. So I, I definitely like it. Um, Spirit Temple. I think I put it in an A. Um, even though it is like definitely on the shorter side, I think the whole Gerudo element to it, um, doing the child section and the adult section the iron knuckle i know mini bosses kind of um i'm, I'm planning on doing a boss tier list but i guess I, i'll factor in mini bosses in this case um and yeah i just really like the spirit temple music and everything to it and and the whole child versus a, adult section so spirit temple i think can be in an a all right, let's do another divine beast. The so the elephant, I think this is the elephant. I'm just going to put at a D. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with it, but um, you know maybe I'll put it as a C. I'll put it on the low end of C. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just it's a little bit disappointing in comparison to other dungeons. Um, that, that's pretty much how it is. Uh, and then, you know, I'll just, I'll do the camel as well. I'm going to throw the camel up at a B and I'll probably put these like this. Um, if this is to be, I guess I would probably do this then if we're, I'm going to kind of order them. It's not going to be like the most accurate, but 
just based on how I'm feeling, I think this is where I'm at right now. Um, so like left to right would be like, this is the most S, like this is the most A tier. So this is like A plus, this is more A minus. Um, obviously it's gonna change as I add more. Um, but the camel I put up here because I think it's definitely the most challenging of the divine beasts. R the whole three rotating cylinders will trip you up a lot more. So for that, I think, you know, with it being the most challenging, it's not the most fun in my opinion, but because it's the most challenging, may makes you kind of think the most, I I would say it also belongs in a B. And let's just get the last divine beast out of the way. Where is the salamander, bro? Okay, it's the volcano. This one, to me, I'm probably going to put it at D. It's it's my least favorite. I don't think I don't think any of these are terrible, but when you're stacking them up against some of these other dungeons... Um, that is just pretty much how I feel on that. Okay, Ganon's Castle in Ocarina of Time. I'd say it's it's a B. There's a lot of those rooms to go through. It gets a little repetitive shooting the light arrow, the fact that you have to do it like seven times. Um, and then after you do that kind of section, it's it's you know smooth sailing all the way up to Ganon from there. Uh, you know, it's it's one of the it, it's it's not my favorite Ganon's uh, like tower or whatever, um, but not my least favorite either. Um, but maybe the three D games, yeah, no, still not my least favorite like final final area, because um, that would go to the Skyward Sword slider puzzle one. This I'm gonna probably put. Uh, I mean, I'll still probably put a Divine Beast ahead of the Divine Beast. Uh, yeah, I'm just not a fan of the the slider puzzle, Skyward Sword, final dungeon. Yeah. Now we get to Snowhead from Majora's Mask. Snowhead, for me, I guess would be like a high C. But do I? I guess I like it. Do I like it more than Woodfall? I don't know. I'm going to put it just below Woodfall. So I love the Gorons, but Snowhead Temple, and we're not counting the boss here, keep in mind. It's so annoying. Like, I like what they were going for, but if you fall, because you have to do these rolling sections, it is super annoying. And yeah, and one thing about Majora's Mask is... If you have to like go through rooms, a lot of these rooms you have to do the puzzle again. So if you fall and you have to go through and you have to hit the switch again with an arrow, there's a lot of those things that can get really, really annoying. And even it's like, I wanna like Snowhead more, but at the end of the day, if I'm being honest with myself, it just, it just doesn't do it for me. It's just not a dungeon I particularly enjoy playing. Oh boy, Great Bay Temple. People see people want to talk about the water temple, right? People want to you see all the memes and oh my god, I was stuck in the water temple and I gave up as a child and I could never find the small key that's in the central tower or whatever. I just think the only reason you don't hear more people complain about Great Bay Great Bay Temple is I think just a lot more people played um, Ocarina of Time than they played Majora's Mask because if a lot more if just as many people played Majora's Mask I think a lot more people would be complaining about Great Bay Temple I remember the first time I played this because I played Majora's Mask as a kid but I never even got to Great Bay Temple but then replaying it in college I literally was in the first room for about 35 minutes and I just had no idea what I was supposed to do this dungeon is you know, I'm putting it up in the B tier because I'll be honest. It, like when I think about this dungeon, and even though I I've beaten Majora's Mask a number of times now, it's been a long time since I played it though. This when I think of like what is a dungeon I'd be like scared to play right now, it'd be the Great Bay Temple. Like it, it's intimidating, and, but. I can I enjoy the challenge too. And because I respect the hell out of it, I'm putting it in the B tier. 
And, you know, it can be fun. When you know what to do in this dungeon, it can actually be pretty fun. And it's got some, like, I think it might have, like, too many bosses. I don't remember. But, yeah, it, I'm pretty sure it does. But, yeah, it's, uh, you know, out of respect, it goes in the B tier. And, it, like I said, it can be fun because you get to play as uh, Zora Link. Like I said, we're not talking about bosses because that, that's a whole nother story with that dungeon. All right, let's uh, let's jump around a little bit here. Hyrule Castle for Breath of the Wild. Why not? This one, okay, so I never ranked this before. Mm, I, I put this, I put this as a, a B. Now, it I like that you have options when you're talking about Breath of the Wild's, you know final dungeon you could zora swim way up to the top and just fight ganon right away or you can go and loot some um you know loot all the stuff you want and then go face him or whichever way you want there's a lot of things to explore if you want to and if you don't want to explore you don't have to and i like the options there i wish there was a little bit more meat on this bone like it was a little disappointing when i first played it and even going back and exploring more of it. I wish there was just a little bit more to it, but it gets a B because, like I said, it gives you that freedom of choice to play it however you want, and for that, I do like it. Stone Tower Temple. Looks like Forest Temple is going to have some company. So Majora's Mask, like I said, I'm not too crazy. You can see we got two C tier and a B tier for the dungeons here. I'm not too crazy about a lot of the dungeons in Majora's Mask, but Stone Tower Temple, I love. Now, it's hard as hell, and and don't get me wrong, has some annoying sections, but I love the music. I love the concept of it being upside down. It's just got some really cool sequences to it. It really tests you. You have to use every like mask form that you have. It's it's just an awesome, awesome dungeon and one of the most complex and interesting dungeons that they've ever done in any Zelda game, and it absolutely deserves to be in the S tier. All right, we got some Wind Waker dungeons. Um, we got here the uh, Dragon Roost Cavern. I think it's a B, honestly. It's not my favorite first dungeon but i think it's fine for what it is not too much else to say about that forbidden woods i think is fine also in the b tier i'd probably put it like below ganon's castle um yeah it, it's it is what it is um these two dungeons are just kind of you know they're not bad but i don't think they're anything spectacular Tower of the Gods, um, I think I said previously in my Wind Waker video that it is a dungeon that back in the day I thought I liked more, but upon replaying it recently, the as particularly the up and down water, it's so slow, and then there's one puzzle with the, where you have to move the boxes around that just makes it really really dumb and slow and annoying and then once you go upstairs you have like the command melody that you have to play a lot and it's just it I like it in concept and in theory on paper <laughs> however whatever you, you want to call it but in execution it's actually just not that fun Forsaken Fortress will throw in the D tier I'm just usually never happy when I'm there in the game. First, you have the stealth section. Then you come back, and it's kind of like you're out of there in two seconds. So, eh, you know, nothing too crazy. The Earth Temple from the Wind Waker. I'm putting this above Tower of the Gods, above Snowhead, above Woodfall. Uh, yeah, above Woodfall as a C tier. This is also a dungeon I used to like as a kid, but upon playing it, even in the HD version, you just have to play the command melody way too many times. You're just going back and forth between Link and Medley, and it just, you're constantly kind of like interrupting yourself, and it's just not at all 
a smooth experience. Um, the Wind Temple, however, I would I would throw up in the A tier, probably like A minus. Yes, you also have Makar, who you do have to control sometimes, but I think it's way less intrusive than it is in the Earth Temple, um, and it's certainly the the best, most well made dungeon I think in the Wind Waker for sure. Um, yeah, this is Ganon's Tower. Uh, this will be a B tier. Mm, I, I do think Ocarina's Ganon's Tower is definitely better because we're not counting bosses. So I'll put it slightly below there. Uh, I think Forbidden Woods is also probably better. Ah, Can I do that? Okay, there we go. Okay, we've got the Forest Temple from Twilight Princess. We're going to throw this in the C tier, probably below. It's probably better than Tower of the Gods. Um, yep, not huge fan of that. But Goron Mines, however, from Twilight Princess, I will throw up in the A tier. I think this is a really cool, really fun dungeon. It's better than the Wind Temple. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Lake Bed Temple. This is going to be another one of those respect ones. Uh, I'll probably put it... Is it what, Great Bay? What are we thinking, Great Bay? I'm going to put it... I'll put it above Great Bay. This is another one. I think it's... A, one of the more challenging dungeons in Twilight Princess. It's got some annoying parts. I feel like I always get lost, uh, but I think it's a B. I think it definitely belongs in a B. I'm wondering if I contradicted myself at any point <laughs> according to my, my previous tier list. But anyway, moving on, we have Arbiter's Grounds. Arbiter's Grounds, I think, is really cool. I'm going to throw this also up in the A tier. The post section, I'm not as crazy about, but overall with the spinner and everything, this dungeon is just super fun. And again, the lore behind it is really, really awesome. Okay, what the heck is this? Oh, of course. Um, I'm guessing this is Snowhead. The picture, some of these pictures are really small. So uh, apologies if, uh, yeah. Apologies if, um, you know, I can't figure it out right away. Anyway, Snowhead Temple. Sorry, I realized. Ah, I don't know how long that uh, that top part's been cut off. But anyway, moving on. Um, we're going to put th Snowhead Temple here. Uh, Snow Peak Ruins. Jesus. Okay. Snow Peak Ruins. That's one of my favorite touches ever. I think I'm putting it on the tippity top of the S tier here. Uh, Snow Peak Ruins, the whole Yeti, uh, Yetta, Yet, um, I forget their names. I think it's Yetta and Yeti or Yeto or something. Um, that whole sequence, the fact that you're in this mansion and you're slowly unlocking the parts and you're making the soup. And then you get the ball and chain weapon, which is super awesome. And you're just smashing all these ice things. And I like the ice block puzzles. I might be alone in that, but I like it. Yeah, overall, the Snow Peak Ruins is just, it's sick. Temple of Time, I think I'm, I, I might have put this as a B last time. I'm going to put it as a high C. I love, again, the theme behind it, but it, it's not like the greatest dungeon in the world. Like after the best part about the Temple of Time dungeon is the whole putting the sword in at the beginning and like being in the old temple of time. And then after that, it's it's good, but it's it's nothing amazing. City in the sky, I would probably put as like a high B. Um, probably like just behind the shadow temple. A lot of people are kind of like hot and cold on this one. A lot of people either love it or hate it. Um, I'm I'm one of the ones that like it. I I don't it it's interesting. The claw shots are a lot of fun in this. Some people say it's too slow, but I think it's fine. I, I really do. Then we get to Palace of Twilight. This I'll probably put like on the lower end of B just because the whole hand thing. 
coming after the whole hand that comes after these like balls of light that you need is pretty annoying again it's a beautiful looking uh dungeon really cool like lore wise twilight princess has got a lot of good stuff going on as far as the dungeon side of things goes not not like the pacing of the game so yeah i think twilight um palace of twilight works well here Let's let's skip around. I've been going through a lot of Twilight Princess stuff. Uh, we can throw the Fire Sanctuary. I'm going to probably put like on the low end of C, but better than the Slider Puzzle Dungeon that I'm just not a fan of. Uh, this is one. Yeah, I know people have... I think someone commented last time where I said, oh, we have two Fire Dungeons in Skyward Sword. Like, what's the deal with that? Um, I thought the Fire Sanctuary just wasn't that interesting um and yes ocarina does have two fire dungeons with Dodongo's cavern and the fire temple but i think they make them unique enough and interesting and i'm not a huge fan of Dodongo's cavern so yeah i don't even like one in that game either so but in skyward sword you know earth temple i think is fine i'll throw like on the low end of b um but fire sanctuary it just it felt like a retread, and then if you want to even take the retread excuse out of it, I didn't like the moment stuff either. It was just really annoying and killing those like centipede things. So yeah, I just I don't really like Fire Sanctuary. I think it was just kind of a meh dungeon. But Skyward Sword has some you know really good other stuff. Uh, Lineru Mines I think would definitely be on the the higher end of B tier with um you know it goes on pretty long but it's got a lot of interesting puzzles with the time shift stones um and yeah it's pretty damn challenging for like the third dungeon in the game so that definitely deserves to be up there we can jump back to the uh, uh twilight princess finish it off with the hyrule castle of twilight princess i would probably throw in i throw it as like a high a it's my favorite kind of final dungeon for a 3D Zelda. Um, and yeah, it's pretty badass. Okay, Skyview from Skyward Sword. This will be very much so in the D tier. Uh, it, yeah, screw this dungeon. It's just, it's like one of the worst first dungeons in the game. It's so bland, it's so boring. Uh, I'm just, I'm not about it. Uh, and the fact that you have to go back to it, yeesh. Ancient Cistern is definitely a high A. I'd probably put it just below the, the regular water temple. And then lastly, Sandship, baby. Sandship, I think, is definitely an S tier. So, I mean, this is up there is just one of my favorite dungeons in any Zelda game. I I love the whole concept. It feels like you're on a ship. Ancient Sister and I didn't really give a lot of uh, justice here too, but based off the whole poem, I just think the sand ships like got edged out a little bit more, but Ancient Sister is also a fantastic dungeon. Um, but there you go. That is every 3D Zelda dungeon. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Definitely let me know how you would rank the dungeons. I know it's a lot to type in the comments, but you can always link your tier maker, I suppose. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Or even, you know what, if you disagree with me, just let me know. Where did I go wrong? Let me know where I went wrong for these dungeons. But um, that's all I got for today. And uh, I'll see you guys in the not too distant future. Take care.